Hello everybody, chapter 7, 14 of Kingdom. Uh, let's get to it right away, because um, I am fairly tired. Um, it's been a few hours since the last time we recorded. Um, it's had a little bit of a busy day. Alright, cool you up, chapter 7, 14 of Kingdom. Let's hop right in and get started. We are recording. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I always that's how I always test that the microphone is working, but obviously I know that you guys can hear it. Um Yeah, I kinda wanna sleep, if I'm being honest, but I also wanna read. <laughs> I don't like where I left off if I'm being completely honest. So I, I kinda wanna read uh, and just continue to see where we are. With that said, um chapter seven fourteen, as always, we're reading this on mangadex.org send scans. Um shout out to all of them. And with that said there we go. I was looking for this. Ah. Right. Step, step, we see Ribaku at Gian. Lord Ribaku! Step. Good morning, Kane. Good morning, Lord Ribaku. Is everybody here? Yes, it's finally happening, indeed. It finally is. Alright, it finally is happening, eh? Wake up, Mr. West, it's morning. Good morning. Leaving already. After breakfast, we're, we're starting rationing today. Will the fighting start today? Yep. Yeah. The Shin are already at Sekirei. The day's finally come. You don't need to, you need, you don't need to, Grandma, but able-bodied women and the elderly will be cooking and treating the injured. What about us? Don't be good. Just sorry, just be good and don't cry. Is everyone going to die? Dad? Idiot. No one's gonna die. The Shin won't defeat us. But Kanki is the one leading the um, That awful man. Are they going to chop your heads off? They won't. We won't lose because our leader are the best of the best. Lord Riwaku and his officers. Okay? Okay? I always like to see like a, it's not it's not a round table right now it's a square table but I always like to see like a table where like all the people are gathering and all the people are discussing and you know sharing their thoughts so on and so forth. We've not seen we've not seen like Sundry during like quite a while now, but we've got the Supreme Commander in Riwaku, Lieutenant Mananji, Lieutenant Shunsui, uh, Seika General Gakisho, uh, Seika General Jokayo, jo Joy Karyu. Uh, Seika, 5,000 man commander, um, Fujon, Fuon, he looks like Shin, is that just me? Is that just what I'm thinking? That he looks like uh, Shin a little bit, just with a tiny little bit of different hair, but he kind of reminds me of Shin. 5,000 man commander, Kane, General Fute, 5,000 man commander, Bafu, he looks like Rubaku, <laughs> Bafuji looks like Rubaku. Gianj, oh my goodness, all these names. I'm terrible with names, all right? I can just about remember Riwaku. How am I supposed to remember all of them? Uh, Gian General Enkan, Ganmon General Kotsuminaku, General Kohaku Ko. You know what? Chapter 7, 14. I'm going to write that down. Um, just, you know, for one reason. I don't know uh, if this arc has concluded in the manga. And obviously we're playing catch up. There's like 50 chapters left to read or something like that, or 40 chapters or something. So I don't know whether the arc has concluded. If I catch up and the arc hasn't concluded, I'm gonna go back to this page and like try and actually memorize the names. Um, but if the arc has concluded, then look, look, I, I'm not gonna remember the names, all right? <laughs> just, just being real with all of you. I'm just being real with all of you. I'm not gonna remember names without recording. Yeah, yeah. Gian General Enkan, Ganmon General Kotsumi. I would have forgotten like the, the ones above if I'm being completely honest. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not capping with you. General Kokuko, urgent report. Our scouts report our scouts report that the Shin are forming up to leave as of this morning. They're likely on their way here. They've come, finally. <laughs> Blindly dancing on the palm of Lord Ribaku's hand. This is the moment we've been preparing for. There's no need for further strategizing. Everyone Good fortune to you. Okay. The moment. No need for further strategizing. So he thinks he's, you know, he thinks, well, I can't use that saying because that's a, uh, that's a, that would get me demonetized. <laughs> Not that I really care with the five views that these make, but, <laughs> but, you know, 
five views is still a fifth of a penny. Everyone, good fortune to you, sir. Good fortune. Good fortune. Let's do this, Kane. Oh, aren't you two, aren't you two buddy buddies now? Lord Riraku, it's not just us. Would you please address the soldiers and citizens of Guyana as well? Yes, of course. I mean, I would assume so because, you know, motivation. Um, they like you know they're, they're fighting for their home, so they don't need to be as motivated. But still, Sekire, let's go move out. All right, Kanki, let's see how this goes. I always like that. Like whenever you see like a shot like this, you always know where Kanki is, because everyone's got like a like a iron armor almost, and like it's just like he decided, you know what? I'm painting mine black, and I'm wearing some fur coat, and I'm just like I'm just like okay, bro. Hey, fair enough. I mean, I, I like fur coats myself. I do have quite a few. But all black, everything. Lupe Fiasco would be proud. Yakuka Army, move out. Hishin, Hishin unit, let's go. Heki Army, forwards. Kanki, join army. 140,000 men. Sets off for Gion to war. You know what would be like the ultimate move right now? I'm just thinking, right? If the fort that they just took had like a underground, like a underground hall or something, right? I like that he had like 20,000 soldiers just stationed there. And they're going to go out to the battlefield, you know, Shin versus Zhao, and then like the 20,000 just come out from like the fort and just like pin to the Kanki army and like just evis eviscerate the Shin army. Um, which obviously wouldn't be great because Shin is the main character, but yeah, that, that's sort of like, that, that would be like a. Ooh, I got you. Like, like that would be like a strategizing, but and I got you. But obviously, they did actually like search the area, search the castle, search the fort. But I also feel like it because it was so easy. There has to have been traps. <laughs> like straight up, there has to have been traps. You know. Anyway, sets off to war. Gian, Lord Rimaku, Lord Rimaku, Lord Rimaku, Lord Rimaku. One hundred forty thousand sin soldiers are headed here from sec from Sekiri as I speak. That many. 140. The man leading the armies is Kanki. The man who beheaded 100,000 of our people just outside of Heio. If Gian fall today, the royal family will have nowhere to run. Kantan will be conquered and Zhao will be no more. This is not just another battle. This is the fight for the survival of our kingdom. Roll credits. But right now, Kantan, the royal family, the country, they are unimportant. What? Huh? Huh? Lord Rivaku. Instead, think about protecting your home in this northern land. Protect it from the bloodied swords and the spears of the invaders. Protect your family, your mothers, children, brothers and sisters, your loved ones. No matter what, pro no matter what, protect them with your lives. As long as you hold your love for them in your hearts. Those feelings will give you the strength to fight. We of the Zhao North will be unstoppable. <laughs> they won't lay a finger on my kids. They won't even come close. I protect my family, my siblings. Ah, follow the miracle. My family will stay safe. We'll cut them to pieces. My love is my strength. Whoa. Whoa. Good, good, bro, brother. Oh, eat this one. This way. Yay, sister. Woohoo. We'll do everything we can as well. For the half a year, we have trained and prepared all for this day. Today, we bury the evil Kanki army and all the Shen invaders. Their graves will be laid right here. Ah! Death to the invaders! Death! 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 Ooh, death! All units, move out! Oh, his hair is too perfect. I, like, his hair is too perfect. And it looks like it was almost, like the page was almost like cut off. Because like his hair is just like a straight line. I don't know what page this is. Uh, I think page like 16 out of 22, chapter 7, 14. It looks like his hair is just like cut off. Like I just like literally just like somebody accidentally yeah, cut the page off by accident. And that's sort of where like his hair is just, that's what it looks like. Like just the squared. That's kind of what it looks like. What? They're on the move. The Zhao army, yes. They've left Gion on a head. Why have they left? I get it. Actually, I get it. Never mind. But like, have them invading so like you don't even need to meet them in the battlefield but you'll have his schemes and plans how many we don't know yet moton said they might even have as many as we do ka, ka, ka. 
Fighting on a plane suits me just fine. Saves us the hassle of a siege. Anyway, please get into formation and move forwards. Understood. It won't be long until we clash then. Haha, <laughs> such foolishness. It seems Zhao's gathered the biggest idiots up north. <sighs> Like why positioning the Gakuka on the left, the Heishin on the right, and the Heki army at the vanguard? They've already moved into position. So I see Kanki army, Heki army. I see the enemy army. All soldiers halt. Hurry and form ranks. All soldiers halt. Hurry. Sure enough, they're not lacking in numbers. There's even more of them behind. The left wing Gakuka army. Why did they come to us? It's easy for them to fight from there. That's exactly what I said. Okay, glad I'm not the idiot here. I mean, I, I probably am because like he's got like some schemes, but like it just seems stupid. Like why leave a castle that the other, that the other part has to siege? You know, that's just to me that just seems stupid. Why did they come to? Is it's easy for them to fight from their castle? Did they bolster their forces in just the past few days? But they couldn't have found that many. Wait, what is that? The left, the left enemies, enemies on the left. Was I right? <laughs> Was I right? Did they, have, did they have like an underground bunker or something? Right wing, he's seen it. The, the right enemies. What? What? When did they get here? Oh, that's so many. One Garo on the far right. He knows he's turning to face them. Center, Vanga. Heck yeah, I mean, just hold on a second. What the? There is no end to them. They've already eclipsed our numbers. Okay. Okay. Now, this is. Don't they have more people? Idiot. More doesn't even cut it. They have almost double. Goodness. How? Urgent report. Enemies have appeared on the left and right as well, huh? Huh? How many did they assemble? How did they manage to assemble so many? Hey, mate. I ask that question all the time about how they just. Pop, how new generals just pop out of our nowhere. I don't know. There shouldn't be this many at Gion. We've been tricked. No, but since when? It couldn't be. We had half a year, enough time to mobilize the men of the north. The only difficult task was concealing this from you. And that's why the scouts are killed. That many now? That many? Okay. All right, all right, all right. As well as whittling down your forces, just enough so that you wouldn't give up on your invasion. Cat and mouse you've pushed but kanki of course kanki is a prick he's calm you've pushed too far north there's nowhere to run now now let's begin kanki of the six great generals what does that remind me of like let's dance Rio <laughs> like what does that it just reminds me of that like, now let's begin kanki of the six great generals like let's dance Rio kusui zhao army 310,000 men shin army 140,000 men oh boy Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Chapter, what chapter are we on? 7.15, I'll probably go for like half an hour. Or like, actually, I say that, with, you know, that's, that's literally just one more chapter. I'll probably go for like 40-ish minutes, maybe. I don't know, but we'll see how long we'll go for. I don't know. Um, again, I'm trying to catch up by the end of this week, but whether that actually happens. <laughs> like, I, I, I no promises. No promises, wait. All troops. Mobile. Gear. No. One second. All troops, move out. Gear. Chapter 715, A Staged War. Lord... I'm sorry. Lord Ribaku, all of the surrounding troops have been dispatched. The enemy has engaged the Gion troops on the plains. Have them surround the enemy as planned, sir. Father. Oh, father. Okay. I did not run out. I completely, I completely missed that. I've been assigned to the vanguard, so I'm heading out. Good luck. Huh. Fight hard. Good fortune to you. Don't try to be a hero, just fight like usual, fool. 
Ever since you left Ganmon 11 years ago, I've always been hoping for the day I could fight under you, under you Lord Riwaku. Well, somebody's going to die. That's, that's a death flag if I've ever seen one. I don't know for who, but why are those three? And I don't think it's Riwaku, so it's one of you two. <laughs> like, that's a death flag. Come on. That's a, that's the ultimate death flag I've ever seen. When Lord Katsumiya... Or all this guy's like this super genius. And like, you know, he, this is kind of like just his story like he looks like Rubiko so like let's say Rubiko goes down then like we'll see his rise so maybe that, maybe that's what the case here but to me it screams like a death flag more than like a rise story so I'm going with a death flag when Lord Kotsu Mihaku received your message he was moved to tears oh goodness finally Lord Rubiko for me didn't I tell you keep that to yourself Fuji you bastard sorry but it's true We've all been waiting for a long time for this, to fight again with Lord Riwaku in a battle of life and death. We were all so jealous when he took you and the others with him, Kane. That's why we decided to bully you when you returned to Ganmon. What? Seriously? Screw you! Yeah. Bullying is always good. You've seen what happens to today's generation without bullying. They just become absolute pricks. I love the word pricks. Can, can you tell I love the word pricks? I'll use the word pricks all the time. Ha <laughs> ha! What you said just now is exactly how we Gion so does feel too. Norv Zhao has always been fighting against the Zhongnu. And okay, 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 okay. Ganmo Norv Zhao died Chuzan Hango Gion. Okay. Ganmon was our key city on the front lines. Since Lord Ribaku was the commanding officer of Ganmon, he naturally became the commander of the entire northern region. The North has never been as prosperous as when Lord Ribaku was at its helm. The Zhangnu could barely touch us. We achieved an overwhelming victory against that huge Kudu army and peace came to the North. This guy looks like a butcher. Is that, that's, that's, I'm, I'm going to say, this guy looks like a butcher. Like he's like a butcher shop. Like he reminds me of like a few butchers that I, um, that I knew. Um, I, like you just like, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Barker. Uh, could I have, uh, uh, you know, one pound of uh, calf's meat and one pound of mutton and one pound of beef and a pound of pork and a pound of veal? And it's like, okay, fam. And it's like, yeah, my, my, no worries, Prince. No worries. There you go. And here's a little bit extra on top for you just because I know you, my friend. Have a good day, you know. That's kind of the, the village butcher. That's how, that's how who it reminds me of, the, vill the village butcher. Soon afterwards, discussion about our victory was prohibited. No one spoke of it, even to their neighbours. But even so, they followed the order wholeheartedly. Lord Ribaku is truly the best ruler we could ask for. My goodness, these guys are all fanboys. Gion and Hango, and all over cities, large and small. We've all been waiting for the day to once more be united under him. And everyone just goes, and everyone just goes, and who? And 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 the cavalry heads out. The infantry as well. Incredible. Wahaha. Ah, Lord Ribuku, how wonderful. Didn't I tell you? Lord Ribuku is the man who will become king. Alright, Sun Dry Ju. Ah, Sun Dry Ju. Sun I love the guy's name. His his hair is even better though. <laughs> like his hair is even better than his name. The enemy must be will willed up to right now. Our spirit has never been the higher. Our soldiers are leagues above theirs. I pray that not a single one of the invaders will escape our blade, and that as they may, that and that, that as they meet their end, they go with hearts full of fear and regret. I, it, it will be so. No. We'll make it so. Ooh! Kanki has never been like a. He's never been a. Sorry, not Kanki. Rubaku has never been a. Um, a master of words, so to speak. Like, yeah, I, I haven't like read like, like many lines of his. But I'm like, ooh. That's a rap battle. You've just won the rap battle, but like, he's, he's turning into that. Like he's like he's he's becoming more like that. You know, we'll make it so. Shin army, one hundred and forty. Zhao army, three ten. They're shook. They're shook. And no, no, huh? Wait, what now? Huh? Ch We've been fooled. Hook, line, and sinker. They've made sure we had nowhere to retreat to, and that their forces heavily outnumbered us. They made themselves look like an easy target. Their whole plan was a complete secret. They knew that we would try to attack Gion and made preparations in advance. Did they start planning when we left Atsuo? No. This plan was carefully polished way before that. We should have noticed something was up when our 200,000 reinforcements were crushed by the Romo army just outside Taigen. Our headquarters never even stopped to consider Romo as a threat. And yet, 
they managed to defeat 200,000 Sin soldiers, meaning the Romo army had to have bolstered their forces before our Shin army set out. Therefore, they had foreseen that our northern eastern army would assemble at Tigan and meet us heading north. Yeah? Is that really possible? Could a man really possess that much foresight? What's even crazier is that they didn't chase off all 200,000, they let 50,000 through, yeah, so that you would think, you know what, that's gonna, still good enough to attack. I mean, even, you know, that's the thing. All of you strategists, you were like, we should attack. The instinctual ones, Kanki, Shin, they were like, this is fishy. We shouldn't attack. Well, Kanki was like, this is fishy. Let's still attack. Whereas Shin was like, this is fishy. We shouldn't attack. It proves you that instinctual just... That's the thing about the show, though. Like, the instinctual ones are the ones that keep dying, as I mentioned. But in a vacuum, they seem better. Like unless you're unless you're Rimoku or Osen, instinctual just seems better. Except for the exception for those two. And yet they're the ones that keep dying. <laughs> make it make like make it make sense. But that's maybe because they kept going up against you know uh, Rimoku. And, well, not Osen, but they kept going up against Rubiku, so maybe that's why, maybe that's why, um, like, 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 if I had to write it, I'd be like, strategist, instinct, well, okay, St strategist down here, instinctual, like, up here, and then Rubiku and Osen. Like, like, that's, like, this instinctual ones are just so much better than all the strategists. But the but Orebaku and Osen are just so much better than the <laughs> instinctual ones too. So that, that it feels like there is levels to this, right? Like I would wanna I would love to see like what an instinctual general on the level of a Kanki or Osen would be. Like would that be a um I'm forgetting his name. Uh the previous Zhao Free Great Heavens, um why am I forgetting his name? The one that clashed with Mogo. I can remember Mogo. I can't remember his name. And the one that always spanked Mogo, except that one time when Kanki and Osen were part of his campaign. And, you know, Shin was like, Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! He's about to crush me! Woohoo! You know? I forgot what is his name. But, like, he's... He was... Yeah, he was instinctual, but he was also... He was, like, a mix of both, really. So, he's not even a, you know, Rubiku Osen level instinctual. So, is there one? I don't think there is one. Anyway... It's even crazier that they didn't chase off all 200,000, they let 50,000 through, and it's only because they made it through that we were confident to invade Gion. And anyway, yeah, exactly. If all of that wasn't truly intentional, we've been dancing to his tune all along. I'm a clone, I'm a clone, I'm a clone. Only one person is capable of doing this. Everything happened exactly as Ribaku foresaw. And this battle must have been staged by him as well. I inspected the entire region around Gion for half a year. This is the best place to destroy the Shin army. Oh no. Cavalry, to the front. Begin. Ooh, that's a, that's a dope shot. Like, that's a dope shot. Almost like, like it's basically, he basically goes like that, though. What is the horn? Is that just a horn just to blare? The, the the signals that war is dying or are there like arrows in there? Like just arrows in there and like they're pushing it out through just like pure lung capacity. Like <gasps> <laughs> That's obviously not the case. I think that's just the sound for the war to begin. Yeah, they're coming. It's begun. What's the plan? Kayutin. They're coming at us from the right. Hiho, Hihyo, take the right. We don't have enough. They're at our rear too. So sweet. Take the rear. Long techie. It's that's actually that's the bottom of the page. Look, Techie, it's a full force attack from the front. They're coming. Don't don't panic. Stay in your ranks. If you don't, you'll be crushed. Maron sir, it's starting a oh dear. They're all attacking at once. You're getting pinted. This is a hunting round prepared well in advance. We can't afford to stay and fight in it. We need to break out. Lord Moten, move back. Retreat and is secure an escape route. Ah! Lord Moten! They left collision with the enemy! Fast, how are they so fast? They've been preparing. Lord Moten, hurry and retreat. The left, they're fighting. Ch the left, you know, 
Yeah, that mean, it feels like they're being destroyed right now. That's been torn apart. Bolster their forces. They're coming to the front. They're coming from the front. Lurch Moten, please retreat down the front. There's so many of them. Can we win? Fortify the front. If our sides collapse, it'll be over in an instant. Not good. If we don't focus on the enemies in front, we're dead. I've been struggling to think, but I can't see any way out here. I can't see any way out here. The Shin army will be annihilated. Everyone's free. Everyone that thinks. And we've only got inside of Kayo 10 and we've only got inside right now of Moten. So everyone that thinks is freaked out. I want to know what Shin is doing right now. Like that, Shin and Kanki. I wanted to see what those two have, what those two are scheming. The, the Shin army will be annihilated. Kayo 10 of the he, he, Kayo 10, the he here on the right have been defeat, the, 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 the sorry? The, already? Defeated? Defeated? Like, like, it's been like a second. Infantry at the front are struggling. It's not just a difference in numbers, they're strong. It's now or never. We have to break through somehow. No, but the enemy must be Ribaku. He planned all of this. We've fallen into his trap. We'll be crushed if I don't think of something. To think Ribaku would engineer such an overwhelming advantage, but we've been completely outplayed. Can we really escape this? Not hecky. They're going to break through the center. What about our reserve troops? They won't make it. No, no, the sides, the sides have collapsed. Lord hecky, retreat, please. All right, well, what a great campaign. <laughs> the end, the end of our main character, eh? The end of our main character. But now, nah, here's what I think is gonna happen, obviously. Um, Shin, we've not, he's not been in the focus, so I think Shin is gonna do something. Let's see, what chapter are we on? 716, let's go to seven, 717. We'll read 716 and then 717. I think that's a good spot to end it up for today. And the first page we see is Shin, a way out, question mark. So we got to Gakika, Kanki, Heki, he Shin. Uh, it's been overwhelmed. 140,000 versus 310,000. The joint army of the Shin forced into Ribaku's trap must fight for their lives. Right wing, he's, okay, no, no, Shin is actually like worried. I've seen that panel right there. Shin is actually worried. Okay, never mind. I thought he'd, he'd already be like, ah, ah, whoop, whoop. I'm just like riding off, but no, he's, he's worried. Right wing, he's seen it. Yo, push them back. Don't let him in. Ah, damn it. Ah, they are pushing in. Ah, I crushed them. Oh, good. Oh, oh, God. We can't stop them. Push, push. Eat them all up. Forwards. They're breaking through. Get the reserve corps. Damn. Oh, left wing. Gakuka army. Dead. Dead. Battles on flatland don't usually occur between two armies of vastly different sizes. This because the weaker army avoids battle, choosing instead to retreat, hole up in their castles or surrender. If a battle does start, it's typically because the weaker army has a unique strategy to win. Last year, the Kanki army used an unorthodox strategy to surprise and prevail against the Kocho army despite having a third of the forces. In that battle, Kanki tricked the Kocho army into starting the battle. This time around, the tables are turned. Jawas cleverly hidden their own army which was twice the size of the Kanki army, and lured them deep into their own territory. Outnumbered and in unfamiliar territory, an army's chances of victory are incredibly slim. The Shin army have now found themselves in a precarious situation. Damn, so much for even odds. There's too many of them. So many. We're screwed. Can't hold them back. Ah, oh, second wave is coming. There's 140,000 of them. Only 140,000. That's less than half of us. Go. We'll rout them out, I'll die for daring to step into our home. Huff. <laughs> Coastal army of Koaku Castle, charge. Please retreat, Lord Teki. Our, formation, our, be our formations are being destroyed. Not yet. Fix them. Get all our reserve corps. The third unit is wiped. The enemy is pushing in. The reserve corps will crush them. They got the fourth unit too. Protect Lord Hockey. Request General Kanki to order a retreat. We've been asking, but there's been no order, Chef Lord Hockey. Retreat. That's their headquarters. That guy looks like the general. Oh, shit. Get through our northeastern army to the center over here. Focus on holding firm at the front. We Lord Tech, and you see the spear like that far away from his eye. I, I, you know, I, 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 that's like, dang. right there. Something's about to happen. Kanki's about to do something, I think. Yanja! Oh no, he protects it. Oh, he he protects him. Oh yeah, he's like, oh, you do you have that dance that you you sang along? On a ritual, an anthem song, and you're protected, my friend. You are protected. Nazara clan. It's a Nazara clan. What? These guys. 
Thanks for saving us. You grim fu your future is grim. If you don't run now, General, I know, but if we retreat, our headquarters is doomed. We've got a duty to remain here. This is, this is not the time for that nonsense. Idiot, let's go. Left wing, Gakuka. Extend our defensive line further left. They're trying to get around us. We don't have enough men. Mobilize all of the reserve corps. Aren't they needed at the front? It's all right. Aizen will handle it there somehow. All right. Rikusen's commander, Rikusen's commander unit is moving out. No, pull them back. What? More of them are coming. Won't even be a distraction. Put them in the center, sir. We just don't have enough men. Our reinforcements from headquarters still not here, not yet. But there is two thousand coming from the northeastern army. Oh boy. Now the left side got crushed. What? Here they come. They're colliding with the northeastern reinforcements. They are horrors. Die, damn invaders. My goodness, you lot are fucked. Like, straight up fucked. Straight up fucked. Damn invaders. They're gonna break through. Ugh. Send reinforcements, go. They think they can take our land. Kill them. And they're even they're motivated. That's the thing. Like, they, they're not just outnumbering you. They're motivated. Fuck, because you're attacking their home. It's terrible. Even if we plug up the holes in our defense, we're just dragging out our defeat. To turn the tides, we have to do something even Ribaku hasn't thought of, but what can we do? Right, Kanki. This is time. It's time. It's time. Time for you. It's time for you. What can he do? Before we like before we like continue reading, what can he do? I think an option would be um For him and then like a small army to like head into a head like right into the middle. Um put himself at the very front of the front lines. Cause they all hate him, right? Like like straight up, they all hate him. So he's the number one target for what he's done. And you know, get rid of the generals, so on and so forth. So put himself up as bait by like just drawing the attention of all these soldiers and all the armies away. That's what, I, that, that's what I think he could do. That's my thought. Right wing, he should Why hasn't Kanki sent reinforcements? They're just swarming us on both sides. If we're defeated, he's going to be next. Doesn't he get that? He's got a, he, not a plan, but he's got an idea of something. Tell Kayo Ten. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like, I, I'm trying to think, all right? And I, I can't think of shit. Tell Kayo Ten to get a reserve corpse over here. We told her already. Then where are they? See, this hat was perfectly fine when I had hair. Now that I don't have hair, it's just too big. <laughs> it's too big. And I can't just like wear it like uh, this. Actually, I can't. <laughs> okay, never mind. I can't. Um, then, where are they? Sir Behe. There's no end to them. Stop complaining. Push them back. Yeah, no, don't. Third unit, go. Ugh, you look bored, Fute. Huh. Nah, not really. Stranger, I'm not enjoying this. It's not bad to have such an overwhelming victory. This battle is won. You don't even believe that yourself. Rivaku, my goodness. Look, by manipulating the enemy's strength and misleading them to believe that we were weaker, it's checkmate now. Just like this, we're squeezing the life out of them. You had your strategy, right? You had your plan. It's gone well. A true general knows how to adapt to the situation, though. So, Kanki is gonna do something. I don't know what. No strategy can save them now. Kanki, it's over. Boss, reinforcement requests from the front and wings. Both wings might be crum might, might crumble any second now. The Heki army is getting torn to pieces. Fuhan went and took 30,000 from the northeastern army's reinforcements. Boss, why won't you send reinforcements to the wing? No reason. Just, just no, just I ain't, I ain't, I ain't bothering, bah. Oh, come on, boss. If Heki gets killed, they're going to come charging straight at us. Not to mention the trouble we'll be in if the wings fall. Boss, relax, Maron. Seriously, okay? This battle is just starting. That's why we've got to do something. Yeah. Too cool for school. Mr. Too cool for school. Right wing, he's in unit. We need more cavalry. Infantry too, damn it. Ah, we're all going to die. Shin, 
he taking a nap up there or something. We'd usually have trouble, we'd usually have trouble just keeping him out of the fighting. Seriously, this sucks. Okay. Did, so Kanki the instinctual one and now Shin the instinctual one. They're, they're not rushing into things. They're, they're waiting. What sucks? Our fire will be extinguished completely if this continues. Gotta do something. Somehow. Somewhere. I gotta start a fire. A fire. Gotta start it. But where? Where? I don't know. Attack Kanki. <laughs> like that, or, or take out like one of their strongest fighters. I don't know. Something like that. There. Raise the flag for an urgent message from the captain, sir. All soldiers, message from the captain. Listen up, he shin bastards. Oh, what are you calling them bastards for? Oh, come on, that's not nice. Huh? What? Shin? Break formation. The he shin will abandon the fen on the right side and move elsewhere. What? Wait. What the hell, shin? He's got a plan. He's got a plan. He thought about this. Yeah. Yeah, chapter, what chapter are we on now? 717, let's let's just hop right in. The Hishi unit will dissolve the right wing and abandon the right side. Let's move. Say what? What? Whoa, what, what's Shin saying? We can't do that so suddenly. If the right wing disappears, the Kanki army and headquarters will be sitting ducks. I know, but they ain't sending reinforcements over, so why the hell should we protect them? This is, this is not time to be so childish, it's not that. You probably didn't see the point in sending them over. The way Ribacus trapped us, there's no surviving this, no matter what we do. Well, I I think so too, but but I found a place where we can start a fire. Might be a piss poor fire, but it's our best shot and our only shot, uh, rather. A fire, what do you mean? A spark, you know? It's, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not motivation, but also you need to like stamp them there, uh, damp them there, you know, mood. You, you kind of stop them and like raise your spirits, because right now it feels like you're just being slaughtered, and it just for them it just feels like they're winning. So you kind of just... Put that at an even break, and then you can discuss and you know think about things. Look into my eyes. I am the captain of the He Shin unit, General Rishin. Trust me. When has he ever said that shit? Like when has he ever said that shit? Right? He's like, hey, hey, hey. Look at me. No, no. Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain. <laughs> I am the general. <laughs> that's, that's like I am the I am the general. All right? That's him. Like. I make the decisions here. I make the decisions here. Look into my eyes. And the fact that he even says Ration, like when have you ever seen him like use his surname? I am the captain of the He Shin unit, General Ration. Trust me. That's it. Understood. The way Shin says, let's move. Get Deputy Infantry Commander Hero Rearguard. The He Hyo and Soso unit will watch the cavalry's back. Protect Hero unit while they get here. Withdraw from the fight. Let's go. All right, I get it. We're moving. But where to? Shin, Shin, shut up and follow me. Lord Ribaku, something wrong. The atmosphere and I left. Something's changed with the right wing. Something's changed with the right wing, the He Shin unit. They're moving somewhere, but your actions are inconsequential, He Shin unit. Kanki Army Headquarter, huh? Wait, what are they doing? The right wing, the He Shin unit is. Their formation is in tatters. Were they defeated? It can't be, that's too fast. They broke it themselves, their formation. What? No, what the hell? Well, what the hell? They stopped fighting. They have run. Are you all running away? Captain Shin leading a retreat. Don't screw with me. Where are you going? Ah, there's more. They couldn't be abandoning the right wing. We're going too. They're, hey, they're running. <laughs> How shameful. This is the famous He Shin unit. Oh, the right wing is heavily shifting. Are they falling apart? Are they really running? But if they are, why go further inwards? Strange. And Rebook is like, ah, oh, shit. Ah, shit. It's this, it's this brat again. Every time I've seen this, this brat, this brat knows some shit, all right? Yeah, at first, he took down my boy. He took down my boy. He took down my, I am the bushin. He took down my boy. And now he's doing this shit. I've had this all planned out. I've had half a year. And this kid is ruining it in two minutes, man. What, what's the plan? What's the point of being a strategist if these instinctual types are just like, Oof. I don't know what to do. Let's go that way. And it works out. It's like, bro, come on, man. Just play the lottery and get out of here. Stop being a general, man. You're ruining everything, Shin. Just just play the lottery or, you know, or do some instinctual type nonsense somewhere else, but not on the battlefield, my friend. Yeah, you know how I said, like, you know, strategist, instinctual, and, like, super strategist. Yeah. <laughs> Instinctualist. <laughs> 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 the fighting, <laughs> the fighting, the fight. I'm fighting for my life, man. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life. I'm, I'm truly fighting for my life. The fighting for the life. So you know what? Hey, if Shin pulls us off, hey, he fought for his life and he did well. Because Bolton was like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do, bro. I don't, I don't know what to do. Kaiyu was like, oh my goodness, we're dead. <laughs>
you know, and Shin is just like, ah. where can we start a fire? It's cold right now. Hmm, a fire. Ooh. I see some cinder blocks over there. Let's go start a fire. That's what she That's what she just did. And it really rang. The He Shin Heki Kanki Shin Center Vanguard Heki Ari. This place is good. Let's regroup here, huh? Whoa, that's a big army coming here, huh? Shin, why lead troops here? Could it be he's here to save us? Shit, no. They're still running. Weird. The right wing, the center army, they passed them. What? What? What insolence? That goddamn peasant. Kanki's like, ah, I know what you're going for. I, that, that's my boy. That's my. That's what I could rely on you, my boy. This is ridiculous. That course, they're heading towards. How far are we going? Lam Shin, I thought we'd be meeting up with Heki at the center. Huff, huff. If we keep going like this, what a surprise. They're heading straight to the opposite side, to the Gakuka on the left. So these guys just like went from... <laughs> Lord Moten, forces on the right, they're coming. <laughs> Reinforcements? That's... It's the He Shin's right wing. What? What? It's my boy. It's my boy. It's my boy. Dene and Nenryu cavalry squad go straight to peeling those enemies off of Gakuka. Keep pulling back and hitting him again. Yeah, Sugen infantry squad. Sugen infantry squad. Go wild on the enemy flank. Got it. Yeah. Who are you? Enemies, enemies behind you. Uh, enemies behind us. Yeah, well, that's a pincer. Allies. Whoa, it's the Heishin. Heishin? Whoa, fresh troops. Why are you here? No idea. Haha. <laughs> We're in this together. We're ah! this together once we know that we are then you know that our dreams come true i don't think that's the lyrics all right they stop pursuing us well you basically stop like you basically stopped like uh oh not i can't say yet like stop but you're basically stopping like one wave to like sort of just get a little bit of a breathing room um they stop pursuing us because they can't leave their post they can't chase us forever they're really confused now, of course. Even we don't understand what's going on. Indeed. It was a plan that lacked all common sense. The Heishin unit was supposed to hold their position as the right wing. Instead, they rushed past the center Heki army to the Gakuka army on the left wing, the complete opposite. What a crazy plan, but they got you some breathing room. Moten, Shin, sorry for crashing in. We ran like hell. Sorry? What the hell are you thinking? Wait. Kayo Ten's idea? No, this isn't like her. Yeah, I made the call. This was the only way through... This was the only way though, right, Moten? I'll start a fire here, and it'll, it'll grow into a blaze if we do this right. I, I don't get it, yeah. I agree, this was the only way. Questionable means aside, the left wing strength has doubled. In this darkest time, a light has begun to shine through. Finally, we've created an advantage in this area, and even better. Rubaku's elaborate plan could not have accounted for this. All that thinking, all that strategy, and the kid was just like, I don't know what to do, fam. You know what? All of us, all of us right now are too weak individually. I'll just join up with that army. Let's run right there. And just, let, let's just go there and just have some fun. Uh, <laughs> like, we're like, what? <laughs> like, what? You're being chased. You're being attacked right now. You're just saying, fuck it. We're just, you know, instead of retreating, you're just like, ah, headquarters, scratch them. We're going over there. I, 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 I like Moten. I'm going over there. I like Moten more than Hecky. We're going over there. <laughs> I think so too, but now there's no right wing at all. Kanki's headquarters right now. Right flank is wide open. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. You're crazy, Shin. Yes, but since it's so crazy, Ribaku can't be expecting this. This, this is what a surprise. It feels like I'm fighting Duke Hyao, the general of the Heish. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like both those things. It feels like I'm fighting Duke Hyao. I like that. General of the He Shin. I like that. I also. It also feels like you're fighting Kanki. Um, because the fact that Kanki didn't send reinforcements, you know, now that the right flank is gone, he's still got those the, the army that he would have sent for reinforcements to protect him for a while. So, you know, I like that. <laughs> uh, instinctuals and instinctuals are getting some cred, some some street cred. The general of the He Shin, Ri Shin. However, we'll just take your invitation, attack Kanki from the flank. Move out! Kill Kanki! And now it's up to Kanki to do some shit, you know? That's that's really what it boils down to. Defend yourself. They're coming, they're coming. Right side, reinforcement, right. Hurry, 
Damn, move. They're here. Bunch up. Call for more of the reserve troops. There's just too many. There's the Kanki army headquarters. Men. Ah, killed him. S so many. No. An ocean of countless silver. I live for spreads like I, I live. I live for spreads like these. An ocean of countless soldiers. As both sides clash, the ground is dyed red and blood. I'm just dying and dying and dying in waves of soldiers against waves of soldiers. Shin left wing, Gakuka army and Heishin unit. Just look at the right side. They're going to swallow up our headquarters. All because those Heishin idiots decided to mosey on over here. Forget about them. Hate to say it, but Kanki's no idiot. No matter what happens, he'll deal with it somehow. All right. Anyway, we've got bigger problems. You bet we do. Our actions here will decide the fate of the Kanki army. It'll decide our victory or defeat. And he's, he's still thinking of victory. Like, everyone else is just thinking about survival. He's like, yeah, you know what? Hey, we can win. I also like the fact that he, like, trusts Kanki enough. Uh, victory or defeat? We're losing this badly. And he's still thinking of it. And that's exactly what I just said. We'll link up with the second unit and turn the tables on them. Gah, this guy, he's still going. Ugh, he'll tie out soon. Kill him. Lieutenant. Hold out a little longer. The Heishu unit right wing came to reinforcement. The Heishu unit? Bring down that damn monster. Huh? Huh? Ah, slam. Horse. The bay. The bay appeared. Lieutenant of the Heishu unit, Kyokai. You're the commanding officer, correct? We're launching consecutive pincer attacks on the enemy rear. Don't shoot arrows there. I'll leave our infantry with you. You can send them where it's most dire. Our men are tougher than boulders. Not sure why you're all here, but it doesn't matter now. I'm the lieutenant of the Gakuka army, Aisen. I'll do as you suggest. Until we manage to regroup, we're relying on your strength. Of course, that's why we're here. She's got my heart. She'll, she'll always have it. Just just take it out and offer it to you. Let's go. Lady Kyukai, she's dangerous. Kind of uh, anywhere near Lord Moton. Lord Moton is my... Hey, he's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's like, oh. Did my heart just beat? <laughs> oh, I need to be careful. <laughs> Woo. Shut up. Thanks to the Heishin, we can enter the fray now. Rekusen cavalry are at Oh, The goal is crush the joints of the enemy. I'm pretty certain that will cut their strength in half. The Heishin unit can't be look at them they've got to be from Heishin unit and 1000 man commander naki ex kanki army i don't care about your uh, your prior assignment gaku army 5000 man commander rikusen i know you're famous naki as you suggest we'll charge at the joints but we'll need your help excuse me fine i was get it was getting boring fighting by ourselves can you keep up with the gakuka strongest spear after all well done strongest spear We'll just be fighting leisurely behind you. Then we'll focus on the front. Naki of the Heishin unit. <sighs> Rikusen unit, charge! And you see the, the, the arrow, the wave, the speed, the horse, the cavalry charging. The Rikusen unit charging. Open up a path. It's the Rikusen unit. Open up. Kanki army headquarters. Boss, this is bad. Really, 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 really bad. The right is getting torn apart. There are two. They're hanging by your thread. Let's send in Ringyoku. It's now or never, boss. It's too early. No, it's not. We're too slow. We're so behind, Mara. Didn't they come along for moments like these? Those guys. Who are those guys? Message from Kanki of the sixth great generals. Lead your whole, uh, whole army and crush the enemy's attack on our right flank. I re repeat, stop the enemy's attack on the right. General Kanki himself said the fate of this battle is in your hands. Yes. Shin Northern Eastern Army General Fuhan. I, Fuhan, will carry forth the will of greater General Kanki to my dying breath. Okay. Hey, you didn't need to say all that. Like, you, just, you could have just said, yeah, okay, fine. Cool. On the move. You, know, you didn't need all that. But, but, all right. The Shindovanese army. Okay. 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 Move out. Have all units rally here. Follow General Fuan. Wolves of the Northeast. Ugh. Of the 200,000 men of the Northeastern army, 50,000 were able to push through the Romo army's attack. Commanded by General Fuan, the fighting spirits were high. Orders from General Fuan are here. They're directly from General Kanki himself. For soldiers who had only heard tales of the war raging south of their homes, fighting in his battle was a great honor. Charge! To them, Kanki of the six great generals was a hero. Oh, I'm dying for <laughs> So much more. Never chase, never see you, never meet your heroes. 
They're Hokage, I'm going. Protect General Kanki. Ugh. With General Fuhan rousing their spirits, the morale was never higher. Men of the Shin Northeast, we make our mark on history here. Spill their blood, lay down your lives, victory for General Kanki. Ugh. Thus, the invigorated Shin Northeastern army slammed into the Zhao forces on the right with their full force. Ugh. Reinforcements, be careful! Idiots, they're nothing compared to us. Kill the invaders! The clash of these two impassioned armies died in the earth red with blood. The second time we've heard that chapter already. Kill them. Kill the invaders. Vastly outnumbered by the Zhao forces, the Shin Northern Eastern soldiers fell one after the other. That's why I said, never meet your heroes. If can't get the choice between, you know, getting rid of your soul, get, you know, get rid of like soldiers that aren't his or getting rid of his own soldiers, he's obviously going to get rid of the other soldiers. <laughs> he's like, that's an obvious one, right? They're all lying. Flagging the left. He got you. Amazing. I love that shot. Just like, sh shoot. And you just see the archers. Zack. The, uh, the two brothers. Amazing. We're overwhelming them everywhere. It can't be our numbers. It's a display of our combined strength. How are we so strong? It's almost like we've seen each other fight countless times. Yeah. We, 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 we have been... No, that's definitely a mistake. That should be we've We've been comrades and rivals since we were 300 man commanders. Lord Rubaku, our soul on Kanki on the left is going well, but the right, the Hishinue has changed the game there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We still have it under control. There's no need to panic. For a person that's smart, you, you sometimes say something really stupid. Che, fresh troops. Wait, so many, far more than before. Oh, that's a nice helmet. Now then, Seika Army General Gakusho, Seika Army General Jokayu. Damn, my forces are still scattered out. Well, two generals, eh? Two generals. Well, we know he's gonna take care of those two, don't we now? <laughs> don't we now, Mister Rishin? Them, our forces are still scattered out of formation. Although, if we defeat them, next would be Lord Moten. Lord Moten! Shin, can you let me take over th for this one? Of course. Alright. He Shin Unit, Gakuka. All forces assume great drill formation. Gakuka on the left, He Shin on the right. I will be the vanguard. The Gakuka and He Shin with the drill formation will join as one and pierce straight through their army. We're breaking out of Rubaku's cage now. All right. All right. Well, not now, because we'll have to wait for next time. Ho, 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 ho. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was chapter 718. Let me know what you all thought about these chapters and, you know, the reaction. Well, that won't matter. <laughs> but let me know what you all thought about these chapters. Um, I will see all of you in the next one, everyone. Oh yeah, I need to go. I need to go. I'll see you all next one, everyone. Until then, peace out. Have a nice day. And as always, bye. See ya.